Hey guys, Mr. Shaw here. Um, a lot of you guys may have seen that the government is now recommending, the CDC specifically, um, that we actually wear masks if we're out in public places. So a couple of you had asked this question before we went um, onto our closure, um, do I need to wear a mask? And so I wanted to take a couple of minutes to just answer that question. And I want to start off with what a mask can't really help with. So masks uh, that you can wear over your face come in a couple of different forms. Um, this type of mask is uh, called the N95 mask and it comes in a couple of different designs. Um, you'll notice that it has this filter on it. Um, it's got some padding. This one's actually used or else I'd be able to donate it to a hospital because there's not very many of them um, and they need them regularly, but they have to be brand new so that they don't have anything in them that could make them dirty or make them sick. But these generally strap under your face, have some padding, and they can keep um, a lot of chemicals that would, or viruses and microparticles and things like that in and out and filter them out so that you're safe. Um, on the flip side, there's also these cloth masks like this one, which are not made of the same fabric, don't have a filter, um, but you can still wear them over your face. Now, masks don't really seem to keep you from getting sick. Um, for the most part, most of the research shows that it might have a small effect, if any, um, but for the most part, it doesn't really prevent uh, infection from taking place. Where it does help is that it can prevent other people from getting sick if you're sick. So if you're wearing one of those masks um, and you cough, sneeze, breathe, talk, spit, I mean, if we're talking and anything comes out of our mouth at any point, um, that, those particles can carry the virus with them and other types of bacteria and microbes. And if you're wearing the mask, and you can prevent other people from getting sick. Now, normally, you would only wear one then if you were feeling sick. You had a fever or you were sneezing or you were coughing, you would put on the mask, and it would mean that you would never really even have to cover your mouth, although it's still helpful, um, because it's always covered. So you're going to prevent other people around you from catching anything that you're carrying. The thing about COVID-19, though, is that a lot of people can carry the virus without having the symptoms of it. Um, they might get them later. Usually it takes two, three, four days. It varies. Some people may carry it for one to two weeks and not necessarily show symptoms of it. But if you're wearing the mask, then if you're carrying the virus, don't realize it, aren't showing symptoms, you won't infect other people while you're waiting for those symptoms to show up. And since not everyone is able to get tested for the virus at this time, especially if they're not showing any symptoms of it, it's a helpful precaution in a really crowded public place like a grocery store or a pharmacy or a doctor's office um, where you might be in close proximity to people and covering your face is sort of out of courtesy to them to make it less likely that they'll get sick. Now, these cloth masks can't stop everything. Um, it seems to reduce the chance of passing the infection to other people by about 50, 55 percent. That's still better than nothing. It's a type of distancing of sorts from the particles in your mouth to the other people around you. The other thing to know about these masks, though, is that you don't want to wear them for too long. Um, filtering that air can also make it harder for you to breathe in the oxygen that you need, make it harder for you to breathe out the carbon dioxide that's coming out of your lungs as your body undergoes cellular respiration and turns that o oxygen into energy and then uses carbon dioxide as a waste product. And so if you have too much carbon dioxide getting built up in there, you might end up having some problems breathing. Um, so you would really want to wear them for only an hour or two at a time. Even more so with these respirator masks, which we really shouldn't be wearing anyways. It's really for medical um, professionals to wear. Um, but you definitely don't want to wear them for super long periods of time. The other problem is, someone like me, I've got this beard. If you cover up your face and you're out and about and it, you start to sweat or itch and things like that, you'll end up touching your face and anything you have on your hands will get in your face and you'll get sick anyways. In addition, if you keep adjusting your mask, it's not really going to do much good. If you start to sweat here, you might actually be able to get more bacteria there. So it's better to wear this only for a short period of time. When you're in a public place, go in and out. And even better, just stay home. Don't really go to these places unless you absolutely have to. Last thing, if you do wear one of these cloth masks, many people are making them now, um, just be sure that after you use it, you wash it with soap and water. Um, you can hand wash it with hot water and soap, or you can just put it in the laundry. Um, but since we're not going out very much, you shouldn't have to use it more than once a day anyways. Hope that answers your questions. If you have any more, let me know in the comments.